Hi, Mark. I just wanted to ask you, looking ahead really to the transfer window, um, is it too early to ask you if there'll be some new signings or what's going to happen? Hi, hi Tony. Um, now we obviously a lot of planning going on. We had a meeting again today, look at the various options, but there's a lot of um, difficult factors in terms of, you know, the virus situation, the January window, um, availability of players, Tony. January is always the hardest, as you know so well, and you're always reaching for players sometimes. So it's a really difficult window. If we lose those players to the FN Cup of Nations, we're going to be light. We're very light at the moment with injuries, the demand of the schedule. So we've got to make sure we have the depth, but at the same, at the same time, Tony, recognise that the financial climate is still as severe as ever. So we've got to be very, very cautious what we do. Are there any particular uh, positions in the team that you might look at? You've been really unlucky with injuries to wingbacks, haven't you? Yeah, we have quite uncanny that we've had four wing backs out at the same time, unheard of. And the person that can play on both flanks, Mo is one of them. Um, so it's been a difficult one in that respect. Um, but great job done by Ozzy and Sam Field stepping in, absolutely, Tony. But it's that was a difficult issue. Centre halves having Geordie in, out till till you know late Jan, early Feb, again has placed a lot of pressure on the centre halves. So it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. We've got to see what what we can do. And making sure that if we do make a move, Tony, it has to add value and quality to the squad. There's no point bringing in a number for the sake of it. We've got players who can step in and some very accomplished players. But we've got to make sure we add value and quality. Now, what about the, the financial situation? You've alluded to it there. Will there be funds available? What's the latest as well on, on financial fair play? Will that come into effect? For you? Again, yeah, Lee and the board are doing that, Tony. And what's available, the figures change with the time, of course. It's just making sure that we know what we can do in January. But it's, I'm repeating myself, I apologise. It's such a difficult window in terms of, you know, teams fighting relegation are trying to reach and get players to, to save status. Teams that are pushing are trying to reach and add quality. Teams that don't want to sell are having their players poached and, and you know, et cetera. And all these various aspects come into play. So it's an, a very, very difficult window and challenging window for everyone. But I think from, from a QPR perspective, I'd like to add one or two definitely to give us that strength in depth and to add that little bit of quality that we maybe not have right now. But as I say, we'll never just add number for number's sake, Tony, never. And you're building a great squad up. Um, I'm sure you really want to hang on to your best players as well. I mean, there must be possible interest in Cher and Willock and, and so on, but you, you want to keep those players, don't you, sure? Yeah, we do. We do. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth is, that they're, they're happy, they're settled, they're playing well, they're developing all the time, which is important to them and to QPR. Um, and if any player goes, I don't think we lose players. If any player goes, Tony, it's on QPR's terms. Every player in the world's got a price. But as I say, if anyone wanted to come and take one of QPR's players in our current position, it would be on terms that are acceptable to the QPR board. And they'd obviously be way above. Some of the, some of the figures I see banded around are almost nonsensical. So it, it would be a term, it would be a value that the club thinks is appropriate for any individual player. And the last question for me, I just want to take you back seven years when you were in charge at Brentford, you took Brentford into the playoffs. I had a look today, after 21 games, which is what QPR have played at the moment, you were fifth, QPR are fifth at the moment. So can you use that experience from seven years ago to, to keep everything going at Rangers into the new year? Yeah, I hope so, Tony. I think we all, in all walks of life, you learn, don't you, from your experiences, you, you hope you do anyway. And you hope you're better for it. Um, that was a, a really good year, a really pleasing year. The players deserved enormous credit, as you and I spoke about before, for the manner in which they performed and overachieved. I think we've got a, a squad now that has come together last year, in 2021, end of last season, into this year. They've been very, very strong and, and been moving forward. We have to maintain that. You know, it's, we're not at the halfway stage yet. Swans will be the halfway. We've got to make sure we keep on building. And January is undoubtedly important, referring back to your first question, is to make sure that you give yourself the best chance to have a successful second half of the season. Mark, thanks very much. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.